Connor, um, with Gary Barnage out, and we've seen a lot of you um, so working with the with, with the ones too in the spring and camp. Mm -hmm. um, what has the experience been like for you? How do you think um, it benefits you? Uh, it's been great. I mean, uh, you know, just getting reps anytime. Everyone wants to get reps, and you know, I've eaten quite a bit, so I was taking advantage of that. And uh, you know, Gary's been great helping all of us out. Um, you know, when he's out there, he's on the field helping us um, with all the little things that he's experienced. So he's been a great help, and I think everyone's been stepping up and uh, doing a great job so far. Kind of is, this a, is this a tight end friendly offense, you think? Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, I think it's friendly to all the skill positions in our, in our offense because, you know, we can have any guy run any route or do anything. So everyone's got to be versatile, and uh, that's, that's the plan. Connor, what was last, like, last year like for you, just kind of bouncing around a little bit? Um, yeah, it was a roller coaster. I mean, my first year, I bounced around uh, three different teams or four different teams. So, you know, I was just trying to stay positive and, you know, knew I'd get a shot somewhere and just try to make a good impression and stick around. And so far, um, that's what I'm doing this year. As you were bouncing around and then you landed here, did it take a while for you to get a sense of, hey, maybe these guys really like me and I'm going to have a chance to stick here? Um, yeah, I mean, I was just going out every day trying to do my job and, you know, just trying to stick around. So I feel like I had, uh, did well um, in the practice squad at the end of last year and then uh, had a good spring. So I'm just, you know, just trying to do my job and do anything I can to help the team. What do you think you bring to an offense? Um, I think I have the ability to, you know, stretch the field and just with how big I am, a big catch radius. So, you know, mismatch potential and things like that. Who have you watched um, among NFL tight ends that you really like and, and, and try to you know, kind of emulate some of, some of the parts of those guys' games? Um, I mean, I'd say Gary. You know, get, Gary had a really good season last year, so just watching film from last year, you, you can pick up little things to you know, help you get open, help you fit a block better. And then you know, guys like uh, Gronk, you know, he's, a, he's a beast, and you know, he blocks well, and he can catch the ball well. So just trying to watch some of the best and just pick up little things in film study. How much are you leaning on Gary for advice? And how, how willing is he to, to kind of give you the, the tricks? Yeah, um, all the time. I mean, he, like I said, he helps all of us out with, and you, know, you think you might know something, but you know, he'll add the little detail that you need to know, the adjustment you need to make on the run. So, you know, I'm always, I'm not gonna ever say I got it, you know, cause he has all the experience and he's willing to help all of us out. Do you look at the tight end group and think, you know, there's a opportunity for you on the 53? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's Gary and then there's a bunch of us battling for spots. Um, you know, we got a great group of guys um, and we all work well together. Um, we all enjoy each other's company. So we're all just going out and trying to do our best each day. and. Uh, you know, just control what we can control and see what happens uh, when final cuts come. It's exciting to hear Hugh Jackson say, that, hey, I like to use two tight ends. I like to throw two guys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, that means, you know, more tight ends in the game is great. So you just got to uh, do your job and uh, make Coach Jackson right by putting two, guys, two tight ends in, you know, to make it successful. You, um, one thing I, I read was, did you have to convince teams that you weren't done playing football coming out? Um, yeah, I, um, I was coming off a couple injuries, so I took some time off and uh, just had to recover my body a little bit. And, uh, you know, it took, I mean, a little convincing, but, uh, you know, my agent knew I was going to get a shot, and I've always loved the game, and I'm going to give it my all if I get a shot. And I think that's what I've done with every team I went to. Um, and so I'm just gonna, you know, keep doing that. But you know, teams have given me shots, and I haven't, you know, feel like I haven't let them down yet. Was there was there a point where, where you thought you might hang it up, or and then you changed your mind? How did that go? Um, yeah, I just need. I think I just needed some time because I had a couple injuries, and then was kind of rushed back my senior year and was playing all year hurt. So you know, it kind of um, hurt me. You know. Uh, emotionally as well. So I just need time to, you know, collect myself, um, let my body heal up and um, just figure out, you know, um, 
what I really wanted to do, and I love the game, and I really wanted to play, and would do anything I can to play. And so, uh, once I, my body started recovering well, and you know, haven't had any issues since. So, how much time did you take off? Um, probably about a, a month. Like I, I was still working out. I um, wasn't doing any really specific training, but I was still sh staying in shape and doing rehab stuff for my for my body. Um, and yeah, so probably you know about a month, and then started doing uh, more specific training uh, towards football. And that was right after your last year. Yeah, it was uh, January, so right after oh. the, my senior year. Okay. What were the injuries you had to deal with as a junior? Um, it was just minor knee scopes. Okay. Yeah.